All right, hi everybody, hello. Uh, I've gotten some requests on how I have set up my Teachable to not just be the typical course website or course directory, but to actually have a whole website at Teachable. So I do have this as my homepage, which is rather straightforward. I do have a blog here, which has only the default um, design that Teachable allows. Um, so I've created this sidebar and links to my call to actions. And here's a pop-up from ConvertKit. And um, yeah, I also have created a landing page and that's what I want to show you now. So if you click here on download my resources list to get started, that you can see is uh, a normal page here in Teachable. That's just tobiasmichel.teachable.com slash p slash resources. And that's a landing page I've created. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So this is a section with a background, some headlines, um, a picture of the ebook that you're getting, a video explaining what I do and what you get, and uh, a form again from ConvertKit. That's the default uh, form design from ConvertKit, uh, or one of the def default ones. So that background is just part of the form, which kind of makes it really stand out against the photo background. So that's really awesome. And then under here are just some normal sections. And I got some requests on how I set that up. Here's the same form again, by the way. And some clients. All of that is just uh, normal text, and that's the section with the uh, background. The only really special thing is um, this section here, where I have an image on the left, and then I have a video and text under here. And I will show you that. For that, I have used some CSS, which looks like this. So I've created a custom wrapper 50. I'll get back to that in a second. So let's log in. So here I do have all my pages. And the cool thing is that you don't have to publish the pages to the menu. Um, so this page doesn't have a menu on top and also this page doesn't show up here in the menu. It's only on this link here or this button here. And of course I can link to it as kind of a landing page from Facebook ads. So. How is that set up? Well, here's a normal page called Resources. And if I click on Edit, you can see how this is set up. Um, and pages here in Teachable are really, really, really powerful. So here on top, this is how this section looks. And as you can see, this looks nothing like what it looks like on the web. But that's really just because I've kind of hacked this a little bit. So up here, obviously, or basically it's just I inserted the block with uh, a background image like this. Right? I've uploaded my photo up here, pretty standard. And then instead of just typing some text, I've obviously used the tools that I have available here. So this one here is bold text, and I've changed the font size. Problem is you don't see what you do after you've done it. Like, I don't know if this is um, size 20 or 24 or something. That's a little bit annoying. So if you want to be consistent with all your headlines here and further down the page, you just have to remember what you do. And then I've inserted an image here and a YouTube link or YouTube video and a normal text. I'll get to that in a second. Um, let's just delete that block. Under that, I've just inserted a normal text block, rich text block, as you can see here. And um, yeah, I don't need this now. So here again, I just made the text a little bit bigger, um, highlighted some with bold, and that's it. And then. 
So now we've come all the way to here, and then this one, kind of this forward headline section. Well, that's again just a section with a background image, and this time I've just uploaded a tiny little small picture of this blue color. So basically I just found this color somewhere, took a screenshot here on my Mac with just command shift 4, just like this. And now I've just uploaded that file and that's how I get that color. So if I would go insert new block and background section, add background, so instead of uploading a whole image, what's happening? Here we go. Uh, just basically uploaded a tiny, tiny, tiny little image like this. And you can see it fills the entire section. So no matter what you type in here, it will all be on blue background. So that's really simple and straightforward. Let's delete that. Under there, I want a normal white text section again, so rich text. So that's this one. And under here, I obviously have that form again, which is the HTML form from ConvertKit. So just to keep things separated and easy to understand, I've made our own rich text where I've inserted that. Now you don't see that form because it's HTML and it doesn't show up in this preview. And that is what gets me to this little HTML button, which is where the whole key of this all lies. Um, so unfortunately, this section here is rather small, but uh, then again, just press the HTML and copy and paste from ConvertKit to in here. All right? So you can see that code. And well, actually, that code from ConvertKit is just this um, code, so that you don't need much. And under after that, I just type my normal text. And once I've typed that text, I went out of it again, selected an area like this, and pressed link and inserted a link, which is going to Gumroad. If you know what Gumroad is, it's just a different little platform to sell files. So here I just have this little thing there and there you can actually donate. Name a fair price. So that not, has nothing to do with Teachable, that's just a link. So like I said, this whole form design comes from ConvertKit. I insert that via the HTML button. Now, same technique as what I used all the way on top here. So here, well obviously I have the headline, which is just normal text. And then if you click on HTML, Here's what I've done. Copy and paste in HTML area on to any page. So, you can see, if you understand code a little bit, you can see that your headline starts here and ends here. That's the normal headline. And before and after, you have some different code stuff. And you can see the font size is actually 24. So now you know how to find your own font size again if you want to have consistent headline heights. And you can see it's strong, or that means bold. And Actually, that's not true. The headline is 40 pixels. So the big, big, big main headline, this one, is 40 pixels in height. And then under that, I have copy and pasted code, which I've called custom wrapper left. And if you know code, well, you can see there starts a diff a container which is called custom wrapper left, which is something that I will um, attack, or not, not attack, address, I think, uh, with this CSS code. I'll give, get to that in a second. So that's the only complicated part, but all you need to know is there's a section custom wrapper left one, and in there is just the image. So what I've done is I went out of this and just somewhere above or below, I've clicked on add image, inserted an image, and once the image is uploaded, you will, if you click on HTML, you will get this. 
line of code. That's your image. So I just moved it from wherever I had inserted it into the CW left one, which I know is the custom wrapper part on the left side. So if you look at that, all this area, this one, is on the left. And there's just that image, and it's it's actually much bigger. And I've just, uh, or since Teachable does it automatically, it just automatically resizes it to fill all the space. That's what this class image responsive is. That's just added automatically to every image, which is quite smart. And then under it, you've got a new section called custom wrapper left two. And in there, I have a lot of stuff going on again. So there I do have the YouTube code first. Um, well actually, first, I don't know, this is just some teachable stuff, partly. And yeah, that's the YouTube code all the way to here, I think. Here you can see iframe youtube.com. Also, this code looks a little bit different than what the normal code would you get from YouTube. Um, what you need to do is you need to Google um, responsive YouTube embed this one and the embed responsively.com that's what I did here that's the normal YouTube address I just put that in there press embed and that's the code I copied so this way the image resizes automatically and the video so on on phone view this still looks good and doesn't look totally big that's kind of important I'm not sure if Teachable does it automatically that you re that they resize YouTube videos, but uh, if they don't, that's what I did. That's where this longer YouTube code came from. And under that, that's the other thing that you need to know. If you want to make a new line and have some space between um, this video and this text, I've just added a couple of BR break. I think that's what it's called. So it's a line break or a line shift. So if you have one, it kind of doesn't do anything. Two is then you get a little space, and three is you get a little bit more space. None of that, again, just the normal text that I typed out here in the normal teachable editor, somewhere here. Let me teach you to get started. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And that one I've I just uh, selected, made a little bit bigger here again, and the key action in bold. And in code, all of that looks like uh, yeah, this one. So you got first this span style font size is 20. That's how you find your font size again. And you got strong here to make it bold. So that's that. And that ends here. So basically, that's what's inside that... Um, this section, CW left two section. And then under that, uh, that code ends somewhere here. Under that, I added a more, another break to have more space. And added again the simple little script code from ConvertKit. And again, some more breaks to have some more space. And I know this looks kind of messy, and I hardly ever change it anymore. <laughs> really, really important. Um, yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, don't touch it. Don't break anything. <laughs> I give you the codes, and you can just put in whatever you want to put in. Um, but the point is, if you want to have a really big image covering the entire area with space under, that's what those breaks were for, then all of that needs to be in a section here with a background image. Ideally, I would have tried to have all of that in different sections to make it more like easy to understand. Like have one section with just a headline, and maybe one section with just this, and one section with just the form, kind of like what I did all the way down here, where this text is one section, uh, and then this is one section. 
just to keep it more overview and have it more nice. But then I'm stuck with a white background, which I don't want because I want all of this to have this image because it just looks much more engaging and it makes the form stand out more. So that's why I had to go through this messy construction here. And the key to all of that is that we've got some HTML code, this diff stuff, that's called custom wrapper left. And if you go to admin and you click on code snippets here on the left side, well, first you go to site and then you click on code snippets. And then here you scroll down and somewhere there, you see I have added a lot of code uh, over the time here. But two divs or two boxes in a wrapper left. Well, custom wrapper left, that's what it's called. And all of this code, that's what I have copied out all the way to here. And that's this code that I can give it to you. And uh, so there you got the left one section, or the section one and the section two, which are both 50% width actually, and uh, making it next to each other. So you need to have this in the code snippets. I'm not sure if code snippets is available on the free plan. If it's not, then you have to have the paid plan on Teachable, but you need to have access to the code snippets, put that little code in here, and use my demo standard text um, code that you can put in here. So this construction here with the diff class custom wrapper left. Do, 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 do. You have to paste that in here first. So how, well, how does it work? Well, let's go back to pages and Let it load. I don't know what's going on here. Computer's getting slow. Um, dum, 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 dum. Here we go. I've made this page here. And if we go to edit, here's that section. Actually, here's that section. So I've just made an extra page where I just have that code available that I will show you and give to you. So this code here, custom wrapper left. And there you can see the empty one. Here's a, the left one. All right. Just an image and two with just a little text. And I just basically changed that. I just copy and I copy this into a new section here on a page. If I would just add that in here, and well, if I would just add that to a new section here with a new background, and I just add that blue background again, or let's say I just take this one. Not that that's the nicest thing, but yeah. I'm going to add this section in here, which is now my the default thing, a link to an image and a little text. And so the only thing I need to do is change the text, change the image, and add my YouTube video as I showed you. So I click on HTML. Here in left one, you got image, this one. So you just delete that one, you go out of here. You don't click anywhere else, just click on Add Image and find one. Let's just use one of the provided ones, wherever that is. Uh, not my computer, Facebook. There are no provided images here. That's interesting. So any new buttons here that I never used before? custom source. There they are. So let's say I want to use this one. Learn how to code. Come on. Save. 
Now this image is here, it looks huge, not nice at all. Also let's crank up the overlay here so that this picture is more in the back. And if I press preview now, maybe I have to press save actually first, let's have a look. No, yeah I do have to press save. So you see the image is there, the background section, but to have the actual content here, I actually have to save and press publish. So now this is live on my website, which is kind of annoying. But there you go. There you have that section with that horrible background image. The small image on the side, even though it looks huge in the editor, and some text here in different sizes. So if I would go back here and let's say I want to move that text up a bit. I will just make sure to delete that first line and say save again and reload. That didn't perfectly work, but uh, basically that's how you do it. Let's go to the HTML and see, yeah, in the code there you can see some breaks. So that's why the text is moved down a bit. So if you select just those two breaks carefully and nothing else and press delete, Click out of this again and press save and reload that page. There you go. Now this text is as high up as possible. So there's a little space. It's not all the way on top to where the image starts, but that's how it goes. And then again, if you have much, much, much more text, let's say you add lots of text here. Let's just copy that a couple of times, press save, oh, you see kind of that the image and the text gets out of line again. So that kind of doesn't look too good. You can see how the background image always resizes automatically to fit everything, so that is good. Teachable does a good job here, but that's part of the reason why I made sure to have a thin and high picture, like this one is more wide than high, but here this one is more high than it's wide. All right. Since I knew I would want to have a video here and I want some text under, I made an image that is looking nice and playing nicely together. This is that you have to do in many image editing program or just pick a image that goes this direction. All right, I know that sounds like a bit much, and uh, yeah, but basically that's how I built this. And I will link or below here, if you go back to my website, tobiasmichel.teachable.com, um, and you go to the blog, you will find this video and the two code snippets this one and the other one, you will find them there. So you know what to do. Or yeah, now I showed you how to build this section. All right, if you have any questions, leave a comment or send me an email or comment here on Facebook or wherever you see this video, comment on YouTube. And yeah, just try to get in touch and I may be able to help you. And now I just have to make sure to delete this section. All right, because this one is live. So don't forget every change you start here, if it's broken, it's you need to be fixed because it's always live. There's no hidden preview mode or something. These kind of things with the code here only work on saved pages. So, you have, so all your stuff here is public and available to everyone. So if you break the code, well, you should try to be very careful and not break the code because it's life and then everybody will see that there's broken stuff on your page. So good luck making awesome landing pages on Teachable Platform.